After exporting your data directly from your InCommand display or connected Agfinity account, you will be able to access your maps using the Agfinity Mobile app for iPad. Agfinity Mobile gives you the ability to view and analyze your information anywhere at any time. In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate Agfinity Mobile, customize mapped layers, use the query and note tools, print your data, view reports, and modify legends. If you have an Ag Leader and Command Display, you will be able to sync the data in your display to the Agfinity Mobile app. For a tutorial, click on the card at the top of this video. If you have the Agfinity Essentials license, just sign in to your Agfinity account and all of the data in the account will sync for you to view in the app. All Agfinity Mobile is stored directly on your iPad, meaning you can access it without any internet connection. The default screen you will see is satellite imagery with all field boundaries that you have in Agfinity Mobile. You will either see the field boundaries or field coins that represent the locations of all fields. The zoom level will be dependent on the number, size, and distance those fields are from one another. You will also see there are a variety of tools available to you. We'll start in the upper left-hand corner and work clockwise around the screen. The field selection menu allows you to customize the information you see by tapping the menu and selecting the field, years, and operations you would like to view. Moving to the right, you will see the Getting Started Guide. This guide is helpful when you are first using the Agfinity Mobile app and walks you through connecting the Agfinity Mobile app to your data, what gestures to use when analyzing your data, defining the connection status indicators, and more. This can be helpful in the field when you can't watch this tutorial to walk you through a process. The next tool will allow you to query by area. The query tool will let you manually draw or select a region on the map to view the statistics for a selected area and compares it to the overall field average. These queried values can be seen in the stat cards on the right. We will come back to the stat cards later in the video. You can also add a note to the map with a text description and even include an image to reference a particular area of the field at a later time. To add a note, tap the area of the field you want to place it and enter the information. With the Print Layout tool, Agfinity Mobile will automatically create a print layout that includes the queried information and field notes. You can save a PDF on your iPad email it to a trusted advisor, or print to a connected printer. If you want to exclude either the map or notes from the print layout, tap the options on the right to exclude them. Tapping on the Summary Reports icon will allow you to view summary information for any data stored in Agfinity Mobile. You can choose to limit the report based on grower, farm, field, year, operation, and product. You also have the option to print or save the created report as a PDF file by tapping Print Save. The next item in the toolbar is a zoom tool. Not only do you have the traditional pinch gestures to zoom in and zoom out on a map, but the zoom tool will allow you to change between different zoom selections such as zooming into your current location, currently selected field, or zoom world that allows you to see all of your fields at once. Working down the right-hand side of the screen, we have the stat cards. The stat cards will display the field average as well as the totals for stats with numeric data and legend for up to three selected stats. If you want to modify the legend, swipe left on the orange header and tap Edit Settings. This opens a new dialog where you can adjust the colors and ranges of the legend, transparency of the layer, change the map type, drawing settings, and even labels when the contour map type is selected. 
The stats available are dependent on the operations you have selected and will display the default stats for that operation. Up to three stats can be viewed and layered at a time. If you want to select additional stats, simply tap Select Stats below the stat cards and select the stats you would like to view. This is also where you can remove the stats that you no longer want to view. If you have display casts unlocked on your in command displays, you will have live stats and maps available in Agfinity Mobile. No more wondering what's happening throughout the operation or waiting until the end of the day. With the network connection, live maps are available for your most impactful operations, such as planting, application, and harvest, and include real-time stats such as population, application rate, and yield. For other operations, live stats are displayed for location, speed, vehicle name, and direction of any operation performed in the displays. You have now learned how to navigate Agfinity Mobile, customize mapped layers, use the query and note tools, print your data, view reports, and modify legends. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of Agfinity.